and all these things have applications on Earth as well, which I think you guys know, and you probably took notice of, with all your research on this, is uh, if we could do, figure out how to do things in space that could help Earth, and maybe we could simulate some of the uh, ways we're doing this up here, back on Earth, and maybe we could make this bacteria grow a little bit better on Earth as well. So there's a lot of applications for the future as well as uh, things back at home. So it's next time. Again, we're just aligning the arrows with the hand crank and then we'll put it back into the, the container and we'll be able to let it sit and walk, see what happens there. already is a little bit more orange than the last one and I'm not sure exactly the difference in each of the in each of the gaps uh, which with each of the samples but we have eight samples and six gaps so it's that six times eight forty eight samples altogether you guys got in this experiment. It's done. I'm just wondering how you guys thought of this experiment in the first place, but if you guys did some of this type of research at school, or how did you come up with this idea? Both from Michigan. I'm sure, there's farming out there. Do a little bit of a spin, and then we'll take a picture. Ooh. All the way to their numbers. 